When one thinks of traveling to the Central Florida Orlando area, they usually first think theme park. And rightfully so, it is the theme park capital of the world. But if you ask people who are local to the Orlando and Central Florida area, they will tell you that it's a very social area, as well as it's known for its art festivals, food festivals, and best of all, their market and farmer's markets on the weekend. In this video, I'm gonna show you the best markets that happen on the weekend in the Orlando and surrounding area. So come with me. In this video, I'm going to break down the top 15 farmer's markets in the Orlando and surrounding Central Florida area. I will list the days and times, but you wanna show up early because the times seem to change quite often and aren't exact from what's listed on their web pages or Google searches. Each market has a different feel to it, and that's what makes them so special. It's also why some vendors you may see at more than one market since they happen on different days. Number 15, the East Orlando Farmer's Market. This market is open on Sundays from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. and is located off of Alafaya Trail in the Waterford Lakes Town Center. It's very close to the University of Central Florida, as well as Valencia College, and very much geared towards the college scene. It's a bit different than other markets, being located in a busy shopping center, but as I said, it's definitely geared much more towards its residents, which are college students. Number 14, Longwood Farmer's Market. This market is open Saturdays from 9 to 1.30 p.m. It's located off Warren Avenue, and it's a small but quaint market situated next to a nice park with live music, local produce, organic foods, baked goods, plants, and locally made home goods. It has a really nice small community feel to it. Number 13, Margaritaville Resort Artesian Market. This Artesian Street Market, located off the promenade in Sunset Walk, is open Saturdays from 11.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. It offers artesian, craft, and specialty vendors. It is located on a commercial street on the property of the Margaritaville Resort, so it doesn't have that neighborly community feel to it, but the stores around it add an energy to it, making for a fun visit. Number 12, Maitland. Now this market has changed locations and definitely for the better. This market is now located off Independence Lane in the new area right next to City Hall. And with its new location, it has a very different energy to it. And it's certainly much more inviting. It also looks bigger as well. It's open on Sundays from 9 a.m. to 1.30, and it has unique local vendors with fresh produce, flowers, crafts, gifts, different foods such as cheese and honey, as well as live music. Number 11, Audubon Park. This market is a bit different. It's open on Mondays from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. and located on East Winter Park Road. 
It's a lively weekly market that offers produce, handicrafts, and food stalls, along with live entertainment. It feels very, very community, and I found everything from homemade kombucha and organics to fresh soups and homemade bagels. It's a really small market, but has amazing energy and a fantastic vibe. Number 10, Sanford Farmer's Market. Located in Magnolia Square in the historic district of Sanford, their market on Saturdays is from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. and located on East 1st Street. Sanford is a small neighborly market with everything from food-like homemade dips and freeze-dried candy to drinks and smoothies to local produce and things like honey, clothing and purses, even ones made out of local straw, to jewelry, beautiful plants and art, and home decor. Sanford has a really nice community feel to it, and it's surrounded by some nice restaurants, so you can even grab a bite to eat when you're done. Number 9, Lake Mary. Open on Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. and located in the woodsy Central Park, near the corner of Lake Mary Boulevard and 4th Street, next to the Lake Mary City Hall. This market is a quaint market that offers anything from acai bowls to orchids. This market has local produce, plants, food vendors, and food trucks with things like shaved ice, to fresh lemonade and hot dogs, to honey, baked goods, assorted nuts, pet treats, wreaths, soups, and more. It feels like a nice retreat and the park feels very Lake Mary, which is a very different setting than the other markets.
Number eight, Claremont. On Sundays from 9 to 1 p.m., located next to the Claremont City Hall, off of West Montrose Street, you'll find the Claremont Farmer's Market. Their market has over 40 vendors and offers anything from clothes and hair accessories to pierogies and pickles, cheese and wine, art and home decor, beauty products, and even golf clubs. The market is located in the historic district of the city and makes for a great Sunday stroll. Number seven, Winter Park. The Winter Park Farmer's Market is on Saturdays from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. and is located next to the train station in the Park West Meadow on the corner of New York and Morris Boulevard. This market is the number one market for its produce and plant market in the Central Florida area. You'll also find baked goods to coffee and coffee beans to fresh pesto and pasta, chicken pot pies, dog treats, and so much more. And though the new location provides more space than their congested previous space, I thought that the layout was very disconnected and the booths were too far apart, losing visitors and people missing booths. I think that's a bit why it falls where it does on my list. I hope that in the future that Winter Park can find a happy medium in its layout. Number six, Mount Dora. Located in the historic section of Mount Dora in Sunset Park on the corner of 4th Avenue and Alexander Street and just steps away from its lakefront. This village market happens on Sundays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. You'll find fresh seafood and produce, local honey, baked goods, cheeses and meats, sauces, fresh Vietnamese and Italian food, soaps and skincare, plants, pottery, home goods, crafts, and much more. 
The market fits in well with the small, well-known antique village, and the market in town are a great way to spend a Sunday. Number five, celebration. A town once designed by the Walt Disney Company, this model citizen town has its market on Sundays and winter hours are 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. and summer hours are 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Celebrations Market is located specifically in the town center market area and front streets. It's a good size and very busy market in a resort felt setting. At this market, you can find anything from teas and coffee to olive oil, locally made jerky, clothing, local produce, artwork, baked goods, and home goods. The market feels more festival-like than market, and again, gets very crowded. So you'll want to show up early, but the town itself is definitely something to see, and it's a great way to spend a Sunday. Number four, Windermere Market. This market is a market for food lovers. This market you will find on Fridays from 9 a.m. to 1.30, located right in the town center of Windermere on Main Street in front of the town hall. This market especially offers lots of yummy multi-ethnic cuisine options 
from organic vegetables to ready to eat Polish dinners to seafood, fresh juices, jams, and homemade dessert. This market is definitely worth a visit. There's live music, clothing vendors, home goods, plans, and wellness vendors. If you're free on Friday mornings, this market won't disappoint. Number 3. Lake Yola When Orlando locals think about Orlando, they think of Lake Yola. So this market is located right in the beating heart of the city, right in Lake Yola Park. The market is so much more than your average farmer's market. It takes place on Sundays from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. and you'll find shoppers, strollers, and people just hanging out because it's the place to be. The market offers fresh produce and organics to smoothies, pineapple, and coconut drinks, as well as pina coladas. You'll find food trucks and food vendors with burgers, corn on the cob, empanadas, baked goods, and tons more. There are jewelry, clothing, pet goods, home goods, art, plants, and specialty vendors.
The Lake Yola Market is truly so much more than a farmer's market. Number two, Lakeland. The land of lakes. This large market is closed in August, but reopened September 3rd and is open on Saturdays from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. It's located on North Kentucky Avenue in the Lakeland Historic District. This market does become a smaller market during the summer months, but from September through May, the market you will find for several blocks. The Lakeland Market has everything from home goods like cutting boards and knife sharpeners to produce, organics, baked goods, salsas, pastas, dips, and juices, to plants, pet goods, kids' books, clothing, and accessories, to so much more. You'll find live music, and food vendors with foods such as sweet and savory, crepes and waffles, fresh donuts, and teas and coffees. So if you're making the trip between Orlando and Tampa on a Saturday, you will definitely want to make a stop at this amazing market. It'll be worth the stop.
And my number one choice is Winter Garden. This market is so much more than a market. It's a community, which seems to grow more and more per week. The Winter Garden Market takes place on Saturdays from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. and is located in the pavilion and surrounding area in the heart of the historic downtown Winter Garden. The town itself makes you feel as though you just stepped foot onto a movie set and visiting what feels like the perfect town. And the market is just an extension of that. The market offers everything from produce and baked goods to seafood, wellness items, soaps, jewelry, pottery, orchids, fruit trees, and plants, to smoothies, coconut and pineapple drinks, and so much more. There is live music and a splash pad for the kids, and it's a great and relaxing way to start the weekend. So as you can see, Orlando and the surrounding Central Florida area is so much more than a theme park. These markets are a fantastic way to support local businesses and be a part of the local community. So if you're visiting Orlando and the Central Florida area, make sure that you check out their markets. See you next time.